So before we jump into the show, you guys are working with an icon who just released his star on Hollywood Boulevard. How does it feel to be working with him? Surreal. It's, it's, it's amazing. He's a, an incredible person, um, just an incredible human being. He's brilliant. He's a trailblazer. And it's, it's just a dream come true to work with him. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's, it's so interesting when you meet the person behind the, the myth, the monolith, you know, and, um, and, you know, I lived here on the studio while we were filming. He has this, the historic district of, of Fort, uh, Fort McPherson, mm -hmm. what um, Tyler was here every day. Yeah. He'd work. Really? He would every, wow. you know, Monday through Friday, he's shooting, you know, 14, 16 hours of, of a TV show. Every Saturday he's here checking out construction, going over every Sunday. I mean, it was, he, he doesn't take a break. And he, you know, that whole written by, directed by, produced by, it's every aspect of this studio and his career. And I don't know what the engine is inside of him. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, but, it, it, but it, it's tire and, the, and this, yeah, and just the kindness and the, the inspiration and the trust mm -hmm. and the always wanting to create opportunities for people. It's, um, it's pretty special. Yeah, he's reverend for that, always creating opportunities in such a unique way too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very much so. Now, I got to tell you, I am scared of you, okay? <gasps> no, we've only seen the trailer, as, as you should be, yeah. as you should be, you, you should know, be. We've, <laughs> we've only seen the trailer so far. You know, we went on a tour this morning, and I was just surprised to see that the White House was still standing. I was sure by the last episode, <laughs> he was either going to burn it down or blow it up yeah. or, yeah. girl, I am scared. Now, let me ask you this. Um, being a black woman in Hollywood, of course, there's always a stigmatism about being categorized as an angry black woman. Were you nervous playing this role and how did you kind of combat that to just show how powerful and dynamic you really are? Um, initially, it was a little bit intimidating, but um, after having a few conversations with Tyler, it's just like we, I, she's a, a whole person. Right. You know, and I, I, I don't believe in the whole angry black woman thing. I mean, we all have our moments and sometimes we, we, we rage and sometimes we have reason to be angry, right? You know, just like anybody else. Absolutely. So you know, just tapping into um, the acceptance of that was uh, was really empowering. Now the show touches on a lot of really relevant topics. One being that you guys have teenage kids who I think seemingly forget that sometimes they're the kids of you know the the first man and the first lady rather. Um, but bigger than that, uh, interracial dating and marriage. How did you kind of prepare for that? You know what's really beautiful about this show is that it's never touched on. Yeah. It's not really? a story point. It's not spoke. It just is. And I think that was so beautiful because I think that's the world we all want to live in, where we, you know, Victoria and Hunter were destined for each other. They were destined for the White House. But the only way they could make that happen was for them to be together. And race had absolutely nothing to do with it. That's really amazing yeah. to see a show, of course, with a, a black person and a white person and it not even have to be a topic of conversation. It just, right. no. it just is. That's really amazing. So shout out yeah. to Tyler for that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys get this all the time, but how does the show compare to Scandal? It doesn't. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not like anything I've ever seen, <laughs> um, but it, it certainly isn't Scandal. Um, we, we are focusing on relationships in this, in this show it's not political um like ed has said before it's kind of like the upstairs downstairs the the, the white house staff has their own storyline and uh the, the first family we have our own storyline and so um yeah it isn't it isn't like scandal at all yeah i kept trying to channel veep Okay. Um, I, I kept trying to channel Selena Myers, and Tyler kept yelling at me. Ed, stop being so funny! Like, all, right, all right, fine, fine. So yeah, because you know Hunter is a bit of a hot mess, and um, you know Selena Myers, you know, just uh, probably the, one of the most iconic, hilarious characters. Right. I think she had a big impression on me. So um, yeah, so if there's any channel, if there's any show I was trying to channel, it was B. Nice. Yeah. Now at Ebony, we're going into our 75th year. Yay. Yay. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're very excited to celebrate that. Do you guys have any memory of your first um, interaction with Ebony? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, as a little girl, probably around 10 or 11, going to the 
beauty shop with my mother, yes. there would always be Ebony magazines. And as a little girl, I would just, you know, file through the pages and be in awe that I saw people who looked like my mom. Right. Yeah. Were you around Ebony growing up? Well, I mean, I, my, my high school was half black, and so I, okay. it was there. I, I was oh, I, actually what I was trying to remember was the guy who cut hair at the high school because you know there was there was one student I can't remember he was a year older than me, um, but uh, yeah, I remember the, the magazine was always around my high school because uh, and I, I guess you know because it was it, it spoke to the community that you know half my high school came from. So. Great. Absolutely. Well, yeah. we're going to definitely do a large celebration in commemoration of the 75th year. Yes, we'd love to be here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.